If you're like me, you want to eat healthy, but at the end of a long day, it's like, oh, I don't feel like cooking. The drive through was so tempting. I should just hit the drive through You know, I know what that feels like, but I promise you this meal that we've got going on today, it's going to become part of your world because it is fast, it is easy, and you know what? It also satisfies that fast food craving. And best part, it's healthy, and not only are you going to love it, but your kids are going to love it too. Let's get started. One of the things that I love to do is I keep fish, frozen fish on hand because it is so easy to pull some fish out. You can thaw it in the sink in some water, or if you have time, thaw it out on the counter and you've got some fish that you can work with. And fish tacos are so simple. All you have to do is get your fish, whether you get it from the monger, the grocery store, or from your freezer, just get some white fish. It can be any kind. The first thing I do is I just cut them up in some nice fillets. And then I'm going to put some chili powder, just some any kind of brand chili powder that you like. Give it a little sprinkle along with some salt. And now we're going to fry it up in the pan. All right, so we're going to start out with a fairly hot pan here. Using some olive oil, heat your olive oil. We're going to start out hot, but we're going to turn it down uh, to about a medium. So these are pretty thick fillets, but fish cook so fast. I'm telling you, it's, it's a miracle food. So I have these good and seasoned, and I'm going to start by dropping them in the pan. All right, we've done about two minutes so far, and they're looking like they're ready to flip. Fish is cooking. We're gonna actually warm up the tortilla in a cast iron pan or fry pan, whatever you have. And all you have to do is put those in the pan for a couple of seconds on each side. Just get them warm and pliable so that you can uh, fill your taco. Now, I like a corn tortilla. And back in the day, all I ever ate was white, you know, flour tortillas. That's what I loved. And most people love those, kids love those. And actually switching to the corn tortilla was a little bit of an adjustment, but worth it because they are healthier. They have more fiber, they have more nutrition, and they actually have more flavor. So it didn't take very many tacos before I absolutely just fell in love with the corn tortilla. And I almost always have corn tortilla, I love them. So anyways, those are warming up in the pan. And now I'm gonna make a quick little sauce for the tacos. And I make this sauce this sauce is great on, I, I use it for che for cheeseburgers, for chips, for taco dips. I mean, you can do so many things with this and it's so simple. It, you don't need any more than these few ingredients. All you do is you take a little sour cream and I do like to cut, you know, I don't like to go just straight mayo. I do like to do some sour cream. Sour cream is lighter in calories than mayo, but I like the mayo for a little bit of body. Okay, so I do like three scoops of, of of sour cream to one scoop of mayo. So obviously it just depends on how many people you're making this for. This is just for me and my husband. So then I take, I keep this in my fridge, this tomato paste, you bought, it comes in a tube. And this is so great to have on hand. That way you don't have to open up a whole can of tomato paste. And it depends on how, you know, how much depth of flavor you want for the sauce. But I give it a pretty darn good, you know, squirt. That's about a good, tablespoon there and it's a judgment call you taste it you decide you know it needs a little more and now I'm gonna put a little bit of chipotle powder now chipotle powder is very strong in flavor so you're not gonna to want to put a lot of this in here and again it all depends on how hot you want but this gets hot very hot very fast so again it all depends on your taste I also like to throw in probably about a teaspoon here of salt and then Give it a stir. It has a really good flavor. I'm gonna throw a little bit more of the chipotle in. Little more salt. Mm, and that is perfect. Okay, back to the fish. 
So we've been going about another two minutes and they are done. So then we just place, take them off the heat. All right, now they're done. We're gonna bring them over to the table. We're gonna taste them and I'm gonna give you a few tips about planning meals for a family. Okay, let's recap. So we seasoned the fillets and fried them up in the pan five minutes. While that was frying, we made our sauce. So say no, no more time, right? I warmed the tortillas and chopped a little cabbage. So talk, you know, this whole thing, we're talking about 15 minutes, 20 minutes max. And now we have this healthy and delicious meal that everybody would like. So what I do from here is I just, you know, this is gonna flake very easy. You just grab a piece, put it in your taco shell. Mm, it's done perfect. Throw on some of this delicious chipotle sauce, which I always like plenty of. Throw on some cabbage. I have red and green. You could do one or the other or neither. Really, tacos are all about what you like, so it's it's a total personal preference. But I do like this. The reason that I like this sauce with this fish is it just gives that zing and that flavor and that you know satisfaction level. So let's give it a taste. Mmm. These are so these are so delicious. Mmm. I highly recommend that this gets in your repertoire. Now I'm gonna talk a little bit about how to plan meals for kids. So, you know, when when we, we have three kids, we have three girls in three years and you know it was it was lifeless chaos you know it was kids all the time mommy 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 everybody asking for something all the time you know working parents and we did not have the money to you know do a lot of takeout or frozen foods i wanted healthy foods for my kids i did have some cooking skills way back then and so what i did is i just found a handful of recipes and dinners that all the kids agreed on. So whether it was, you know, spaghetti or tacos or fish tacos or, um, you know, chicken, homemade chicken strips and chicken nuggets and, you know, just a handful of recipes and I would put them on a rotation on a list. So I knew Monday I was making spaghetti, Tuesday I was making tacos, Wednesday I was making, you know, chicken strips or whatever. And then I would grocery shop. So I'd get the, the my I'd have my grocery list based on what my menu was for the week. And then every day, so before work, if it was gonna be, you know, spaghetti and I needed to get the meat out of the freezer, I knew that. When I came home, I could whip things up. Um, so I always knew what I was gonna make, and it was just super easy to be prepared because I had all the ingredients. I knew that morning if I had to do anything special, and putting together a dinner at night was really, really easy. I did not cater to three different people wanting three different things. It was like, this is what we're having. And that's why I tried to make sure that the, the recipes that I chose were recipes that they all agreed on. So um, it worked really well for me. I had, I had, you know, they were pretty good eaters and you know, it went pretty well. So anyway, that's some old grandma's advice. These are fantastic. You do want to try them. Make them part of your weekly repertoire. Your kids are gonna love them. You're gonna love them and no fast food. You're gonna make these, it's gonna take you no time, probably faster than going through the drive-through. So give it a try.